everyone, my name is Sylvia Nguyen. I'm a high school student from California, and I'm proud to be the Asian American Stories Youth Ambassador. Our organization here puts together one minute video essay contests for participants throughout the nation, and we are located in the Bay Area with the theme of how Asian American narratives are embedded in U.S. history and how we belong here. Could you please tell us your name, title, and a description of your work? Yeah, uh, my name is Hardy Lee. I'm from the uh, Oregon and Washington area. I'm uh, one of the uh, national board member of USA. I'm also the fundraising committee chair. And in the meantime, I'm the chairman of the board for uh, UCA Washington chapter. Thank you very much for your work and contributions. Personally, I've had an amazing time inspired by all the leaders here at the USA Conference and appreciate being included. My first question is, how did you, what pivotal moment in your life did, told you that you wanted to be a part of making you say happen? Well, uh, being a non-profit organizer in the Pacific Northwest for over 20 some years, you know, we've been doing a lot of effort in the local, I mean effort, but we really need UCA as a national organization to unite all the Chinese, to tackle all the big apps, I mean issues like what we've been doing in the Capitol Hill in the last couple of days. I was also a part of the Capitol Hill and it was again an amazing experience that I personally had the chance to speak with some senators about certain issues. What other opportunities does UCA provide for youth looking to be civically and politically involved and aware and what does that mean to you? Well, our effort is really for the future of our next generation like you, right next and next. has been putting at least a half of the effort, it's not more than that, to generate our youth program to help out. And another question, thank you for your words. What excites you and gets you up in the morning for UCA? This morning? Yeah. This morning actually, I uh, came down here a little bit late, I didn't even get my breakfast. And then I was uh, sent out to collect some of the uh, gift that uh, a local donor donated to UCA. And then after that, I went to Costco to buy some wines for our gala tonight. Thank you for your morning routine of today. Another question that I want to ask is, one thing that I heard from a panel was how important it is for not just the Chinese community, but other communities that are going through similar issues to find and gain support from other communities beyond. How does UCA find support from non-Chinese? Yeah, well definitely, as a UCA, uh, in the last six, seven years, we have been trying to work together with any other ethnic groups, including the blacks, the, the Indian, and again, Indian, just uh, another ethnic group of uh, Asian Pacific, right? So definitely, we need their support to fight for our equal right in this country. And how can youth help fight for the support? Well, first of all, we need to support others before we ask her to be supported, right? So you definitely, if other people, for instance, the Jewish or the black or Latinos, and they come to us or even not come to us, if we see their need for help, we should ask if they need any help from us, right? Then people will do the same thing, vice versa to us. That's how we should be doing. I totally agree with what you said in lending a hand first and then allowing others to help. Thank you very much for your time and your service and also coming to interview with Asian American Stories. Thank you. Thank you for the time. Thank you. Appreciate it.